Hi, today I'm going to be introducing you to the most important concept of information security. It is important that you understand this concept because everything you're going to be doing in information security, whether for your CSSP certification or in your practical environment, they are all going to be anchored on these three main concepts of information security. So let's get started. The concept we're going to be talking about is what we call the information security triad, which are the confidentiality, integrity, and the availability of data. Now, I'm going to take you through the journey of what confidentiality is, integrity is, and availability, and how this can be straightened in your computer environment, and what you need to do as an information security expert to deal with this threat. First of all, let's get down and understand what the meaning is of the confidentiality, integrity, and availability of information. First of all, let's take a look at availability. Now, in the past, when I talk about the past in information security, then we talk about really things like 20 years ago and not further than that. Well, 20 years ago, in the early days of information technology, what we worried about was if the computer was going to work the next day. So the basic fundamental need of the computer environment was availability. Are we going to get access to the data that was stored on the computer yesterday, and is it going to work? So there was nothing else to worry about. Now, Let's take a look at this concept of availability. What is actually availability? Well, what you need to know about availability is that it's simply an assurance that the system will be available for those who need to use it, or people who are authorized to make use of the computer should get access to it anytime they want to make use of the computer. This is basically the concept of availability. Now, in a nutshell, for those of you who are preparing for your certification, it is important to understand that the basic definition here of availability is uninterrupted access to resources by authorized persons. This implies that people who are not authorized to get access to that data should not, in any circumstances, be given access to the information. This is a very important concept to understand, which means that as we go ahead in our CSSP certification program, we're going to be showing you ways to ensure that people who are not authorized should not get access to the information that is stored in the computer environment. So, now that we've understood the basic principles of what availability is, now let's take it a little bit more further. You see, as long as computers were locked in uh, inside a house or within closed doors, then there was no big problem. But like you know, as we progress in our information technology world, we started combining all the resources together in a computer industry. So now we have network computing. As we have network computing, it means that data travel through the cables to areas where we didn't have control over. And today, we have the World Wide Web. Now, the World Wide Web or the Internet has made it much more uh, difficult to protect our information. And as a result, the need for information security has increased. So now, we are no longer talking about the availability of the information we have. There are other things now we need to worry about. Because the way technology has improved today, our data is almost 24-7 available because we have the stable hardware to make sure that this happens. However, what about the confidentiality of the information? Now, it is important that 
information is only accessible to those who are authorized to get access to it. In other words, confidentiality, confidentiality is ensuring that information is accessible only to those authorized to have access. So, just like the first concept of availability, confidentiality is a very important concept in information security, which basically ensures that we won't pass information to unauthorized individuals. So what I want you to understand here again is the important concept of authorization, which basically means that people need to be authorized before they can transmit information to a third party. And the third party that is getting access to the information should be authorized to get access to that information, otherwise he or she should not be privileged to get access to that information. Confidentiality is actually a way to prevent unauthorized disclosure of information, intentional or unintentional disclosure by authorized persons. This is very important to understand. You see, there are two ways to disclose information. First of all, you can have intentional disclosure, which basically means that somebody uh, has disregarded the laws or the regulations and decided that I'm going to disclose this information to a third party without authorization to do that. On the other hand, there can be an unintentional disclosure of information to uh, others by authorized persons because of simply basic